бывшему тренеру по дзюдо Мухаммед Али is a former judo instructor, and at 57 he's still in a great shape. This father of six now lives in a suburb of Dushanbe, but five years ago he was working in Russia, like many of his fellow Tajiks. That all came to an end when police conducted a raid on illegal foreign workers at Moscow's Cherkizovsky market. The police discovered Mohammed's expired visa and quickly deported him. Since then, he's been doing odd jobs, teaching at the local school and driving a cab, while patiently waiting for his chance to return to Russia. Five years after his deportation, the entry restrictions against him have now been lifted and he is ready to go back to Moscow. Forty-year-old Jamshed Nabiev is a school teacher. He used to build houses in Russia, but he left late last year because his company was downsizing. But now that the reconstruction company is starting to recover from the economic downturn, they are looking for workers to send to Bryansk, southwest of Moscow. So Jamshed is ready to return. On his last night before leaving, his three children and their extended family all gathered at the home of Jamshed's seven year old father Tahir. Mohammed spent his last evening at home with the village elders. The group went to the mosque as custom requires, then returned home for a meal. The women spent a long time in the kitchen, as usual, while the children played outside. When the guests finished their dinner, 80-year-old Abdu Jafar took the floor. Every one of the elders has a child or grandchild working in Russia, and they pay attention to any news coming from there. No one has any negative words to say about Russia, where so many Tajiks have found opportunities to work. Mohammed Ali borrowed some money from his friends to buy his train ticket from Dushanbe to Moscow. He plans to try his luck at one of the large markets in Moscow. There are about 30 people living at Jamshed's father's house, including Jamshed's younger sister and his three brothers with their wives, children and grandchildren. Jamshed rents a flat in the city and only visits his father's home. Every evening the extended family gathers around around a large traditional tablecloth set for dinner. Tonight Jamshed will go to the rail station straight from here. His family prepared enough flatbread and meat to last him for a few days. Jamshed's wife Surayo notices his worried look and jokes with him a little. <laughs> We met all my fellow travelers at the train station in Dushanbe, with a little help from the employees there. When the ticket agents learned that we were planning a report on a train trip to Moscow, they decided to help us. When passengers came to buy their advance tickets to Russia, the ticket agents artfully delayed the process and called me immediately. Since Dushanbe is not a big city, I was able to get to the rail station within 15 minutes and meet some of the passengers who would be making the trip. It wasn't difficult to get them to agree to take part in our project, as Tajiks are very approachable and love being filmed. 
This is how I met my fellow travelers. Three men and one woman, all passengers of the Dushanbe Moscow train. We will meet another one of them in our next report. Thank you.